We're glowing about this episode of Incredible Insects. Hello, my name is Kristen. I'm one of the education specialists here at Reed Park Zoo. Today I have with me one of our ambassador animals, the Emperor Scorpion. Now, scorpions look pretty similar to an insect, but they're actually related to spiders. They have eight legs and only two body segments, instead of insects that have six legs and three body segments. This particular scorpion is found in the rainforests of Africa. But scorpions can live in all different habitats, even here in our desert. Because scorpions get all of the water they need from the food they're eating, they don't need a readily available source of water. So the scorpions we have here in the Sonoran Desert have a lot of the same features as the emperor scorpion you see in front of you. Now you may notice in front of her that she has two very large pincers. Those are called pedipalps, and that's actually what she uses to catch her food. Scorpions are carnivores, meaning they only eat meat. Mostly that's in the form of insects, but also other small animals like lizards. Now she comes out at night, so she is nocturnal. Most of her day is spent underground, but when she's out at night, she's able to sneak up on her food and grab it with those pedipalps. Larger scorpions, like the emperor scorpion, use those pedipalps to crush their food. Smaller scorpions actually use the venom on the tip of their telson, which is their tail. That's how they sting their prey. Now, what's really interesting about scorpions is they're a lot different than other invertebrates. They don't lay eggs, they give live birth. When a scorpion gives live birth to those babies, they actually crawl on mom's back and they'll stay on her back until their first molt when they go off and continue to live their scorpion lives. Now it's really important that we get to experience the Sonoran Desert. Anytime you go outside, it's important to make sure that we stay safe and the wildlife around us also stays safe. Since scorpions come out at night, it can be hard to see them. And one way you can know where scorpions are so you know where not to step is by using a black light. All scorpions glow under ultraviolet light. When you're out and about at night and you think scorpions might be nearby, use that black light so that way you stay safe because all scorpions are venomous. And a sting from most scorpions is similar to a bee sting. Unless you're allergic, it's not really a concern. But we also want scorpions to continue to exist because they're an important role in controlling insect populations. Without that, we would have a very unbalanced ecosystem. Thank you so much for joining me for this episode of Incredible Insects, or in this case, Arachnids 